Hey guys, um, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to set up a Samba share on an Ubuntu server 14.04 um, long term support edition. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this is something that I had a lot of trouble with when I got into the Ubuntu server sphere right in the beginning. Uh, it's a little, it can be a little hard to follow, especially if you're not 100% sure what's going on on Linux yet. And I'm going to show you how to do it completely command line. That way you know what the configuration settings are. And you can also do this in Ubuntu Desktop or any other uh, Linux distribution. So the first step for us is going to be we want to make sure that you have everything updated for um, just your system in general. So we're going to run sudo apt-get update. And uh, apt-get is uh, specific to some of the certain Linux distributions. Um, Ubuntu uses it. Uh, Mint uses it. And then some other things are like Pac-Man is used. RPM is what Red Hat uses. But for this, all intents and purposes, we're just going to use that. So we're going to do an upgrade. Um, I didn't have anything to upgrade because I upgrade mine every day. But you might have some stuff to do, so you'll just be hitting yes here. Um, after all that stuff gets done, we're just going to go ahead and do sudo apt-get install Samba. And this is going to grab the most recent Samba version and all its dependencies that you're going to need. And it's going to pop up. You're going to have to hit yes. It's going to download it, and then you're going to get to installing. So I'm going to go ahead and clear off the screen here. Um, the next thing we're going to do is now that Samba is installed and running, we're going to do sudo and then we're just going to go straight to the config file. It's sudo etc samba and then smb.config. Alright, and we need to do nano. I'm going to use nano editor. You can use whatever one you want to use, vi. Um, if you're on uh, Ubuntu desktop, you can use gedit or anything on that. And then here's the smb file. So. All of this stuff up here, for all intents and purposes, for this video today, we're not going to worry about. These are a little bit more um, advanced settings. If you're maybe doing this in some sort of small business environment, you might want to do some of these things. Um, there's a couple little options here I'll just talk on real quick with authentication. Um, this Unix password sync, this is kind of nifty. So this is going to sync um, Unix passwords with SMB password of uh, um, one of the users that you're using Connect. So if I have user Bob and his password to sign into his uh, Linux computer is 12345, then it's also going to change his password here on the SMB connection. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and hop down here. Um, if you actually read through this, a lot of this stuff is explained, so what each exact thing does. Um, they had done a lot better job on explaining this. Some of this stuff is newer since some of the previous Samba releases. But um, I'm going to show you how to set up a share. So here's my current share. Um, it's mounted. It's the path to it. So where the files are stored for the share is mount. Uh, it's not read only. I have it set so you can write. Um, browsable, yes. That way you can find it on the network. Uh, guest OK is no. I don't want guests to be able to completely access it or even see anything that's on it. And then I have create mask set to 0775. So that uh, essentially grants my user privileges to all the files and folders that I create in there. And then I have a valid users thing. This is one of the settings that I kind of tinkered around with. Um, the hardest thing about getting this Samba share set up and rolling 100% correctly is the authentication methods. Um, sometimes you'll have issues where your password doesn't seem to work, or Windows will cache a previous map network drive to that specific directory, and it kind of just messes everything up. So we're going to go ahead and define the name of it first. So that's what this part is. So let's call it um, uh, let's call it YouTube Share. So let's say we're going to store, store all of our videos here. All right. Then just re-enclose that. All right. And then we're going to go to the next line. We're going to make the path. And let's say it's going to be within the mount directory. And we're going to have it in the YouTube folder. Can't type today, apparently. All right. And then read only. Uh, no, we don't want it to be read only. We want to be able to write to it. Or maybe you want it to be read-only because they're YouTube videos and you only need to pull the data off of them. But I'm going to potentially be storing stuff here as well, so I want it to be able to be written to. Browsable, yes. Um, if you are on a network with other people that you don't even want them to know that you are you have a share set up, then you can put no, and then you just are going to need to know the exact path to the server that you're going to well if you're on a windows computer it's going to be like the name of the server so like mine's ubuntu server x um yours is probably could just be ubuntu server whatever you named it the computer that's running the server um or you can just use the ip address um next we're going to have guest okay is no because 
No, we don't want guests to be able to get into our stuff. We're going to do the create mask of 770775. This is one of the things you can tinker around with. Some people might not like what I'm doing with this here, but I like it there because I don't have a bunch of permission issues later. Um, Security-wise, sometimes you want to do it a little lower than that. Um, valid users, we're going to go ahead and make Jacob again. It's just for intensive purposes. Um, all right, so we're going to hit save. We're going to exit out of that. Um, something that I do recommend doing is doing a command, something like this. Um, just do a quick copy of this file to, like, your home directory um, under like smb conf arc or something that way you have an archive you back up your file that way if you completely you know get it so it's samba doesn't even want to start then you can uh revert um next thing we're going to do now that we save the files we're going to do sudo service and then it's smbd and we're going to do restart and then i think there's mnbd yep and that one too so what this is going to do is this basically just restarted the Samba processes. That way our new share is up and running now. Um, you might not have access to it yet, so we're going to do this command as well. I like to do this. Well, let me see if I can remember. It's SMB pass, I believe. Oh, let me look at quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was close. It's SMB and then password. And so this is how you can do a quick password for that person. Um, so we're going to do username, Jacob, username flag here, and then you can do whatever you want. And then it's going to ask you for the new Samba password. I'm not going to follow through with that because I don't want to change mine. All right, and now that we have everything up and rolling, um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop down to a Windows computer because that's usually what you're gonna be using Samba for is if you're gonna wanna be sharing Windows. So we're gonna go ahead and bring a window up here. Go ahead and close out of this putty session. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go here to my network and we're gonna browse to the Ubuntu server. All right, so it's gonna ask me for credentials right away because guests aren't okay to see the shares on here. We're going to enter in the credentials. And there's our new share. So here's my pre existing one, and then here's our new one. And you're just going to pop it right open. It's probably. Uh, oh, the issue now is that I don't have that actual folder defined on the server. But um, yours will open up here uh, fine, and you'll have a share set up. Um, this was the easiest way that I found to do it, and you guys will be all set. If you have any questions about this, because this is kind of a tri tricky topic. Uh, feel free to go ahead and hit me up, leave a comment. Um, I'd really like if you guys rated or subscribe this video. Um, thanks for watching, guys.